What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? Here with another consulting lesson, whatnot. Going into the consulting. In a previous video, I talked about pivoting. You can pivot in a political campaign and you can run in a campaign. Everybody wants to win, so you think when you're a voter. But actually, a lot of people use it to get their name out there for a position that they may not have been as known for. So they say, let me run for this race, get my name out there. Maybe there's only one other person running or maybe there's seven other people running. So I know that my name will get mentioned in the newspaper and then I can even back out um, after I can back out and say, you know what? Um, I don't want to run any more personal reasons, whatever you want to say. Right. But a lot of people do this. They run in these campaigns just to get their name out there. And then you'll see them run for something else. And you're like, wait, I know that name. And the average person doesn't even remember. So they're like, who did that person? Who was that? And it depends on how the campaign goes. The thing is, you also have a lot of people who run for office and know they have no chance of winning. There's Republicans running against Trump when that has never, ever, ever in their living life happened that an incumbent president gets beat by someone in his own party. You haven't seen it in your life. I studied politics and I know someone's going to mention a scenario and say, well, what about when? Let's have that conversation, but you're going to pay me for that conversation because you want to talk about certain factors when you weren't even born, when your father wasn't born, when your grandfather wasn't born, and his father, whatever, whatever. You know, if you ever say George Washington, it's one of those things. If you ever say George Washington was the first president, you're going to have a hundred historians who are going to say, actually, he wasn't the first president. When you say Barack Obama was the first African-American president or even half African-American president, you're going to have people who go all the way back to Abraham Lincoln's days and tell you his lineage and this and that. And even if they have no facts, they're going to say, say they're right. But you got to, the point is, pivot. In politics, you got to pivot. In your job, you got to pivot. As a consultant, you definitely have to pivot because I've seen this game go like this and then go, ar, 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 and you know, and, it, and it's just it's just crazy how you have to be able to pivot, but you still have to be your honest, authentic self. There's no way I can be a 60-year-old, 70-year-old Jewish man, I can't beat him at being his authentic self. I think a lot of times in, in business, um, minorities especially, want to try to fit in this box that the masses will understand and say, oh, you're, you're okay. You fit the mold. You've put on the proper suit. You've worn the attire that we need you to wear. Nah, nah, nah. Them days are over. This is the day of being able to pivot and do you, but you still got to pivot. That's the thing. Same smarts, same all that, but you still got to be able to pivot and, and move because if you can't move and groove the way you need to in, in life, it's like Snoop Dogg's reinvented himself how many times? He's been a crip. He's been a pimp. Now he's a gospel. He's been a Rastafarian. He's been all that. He's pivoted. He's seen that I'm a full on per character and whatever character I am, the people will buy into. That's why I don't buy into entertainment, but I'm behind the scenes writing this stuff sometimes, you know. And so and, and I want you guys to be clear on something on this channel. We keep it as clean so your kids can hear it, so my kids can hear it, because that's the way I like to do it. And you always have a disclaimer in case there is some foul language, whatnot, um, from a guest. We try to bleep and all that, but sometimes you can only control what you comes out of your mouth, right? And I may even slip sometimes, but I don't plan on doing any slipping or any tripping, but I do want to let you guys know that part. But you got to pivot. 
pivot in this game. One day you're working at the um, shoe store. The next day you are the manager or owning your own shoe store. That's the type of pivot, how the ambition and all that has to go. Don't be worried so much about, hey, man, what is Kellen doing? What's behind those shades? What what is he fully wearing? Um, you know, is there pants? What is my favorite YouTuber or influencer? Or what is my mom gonna do about her bills? Worry about your bills so you can change some things. So if you don't like the where your mom is at, you can go get her a new house. If you don't like what I'm wearing, you can go buy me something. But I don't need you to buy me anything. I'm quite good. Give it to somebody who's in need, especially during this holiday time. And I don't even do the holidays because every day is a holiday. Every day is a holy day, you know, even when we're at our worst. But I, that's because I know I got to pivot. Even on my worst day, I know, wow, I got to get out of this funk and I got to make something happen because this is what I love to do. You know, the money is one thing. The um, places you get to visit and the things and people you get to meet, all that is amazing. But I really love this. Like, I love consulting. That might be a shirt. Let me write that down. I love consulting shirts. And I'm giving y'all the game because, again, if you can do it better than me, do it. But just remember where you heard it. And I ain't got time to sue you because I'm too busy. Once you take one idea, I'm working on three others. And, and you don't even know that I'm working on them. I'm giving you my, my second string game. But that's a whole different thing. If you guys remember uh, Phil Morris Slim when he said, you know, I gave you my second string team. That's how I feel about a lot of ideas. And you only get the the real nitty gritty when you hire me because i've given people full-on plans in the past and they thought okay kellen did the strategy he did the plan he connected the a the b all the way to the z and i don't think we need him anymore but again you don't do that with your fire insurance that's straight out of the million dollar uh million dollar our million dollar consulting book or getting started in consulting book because it was referenced in both from alan weiss you don't cancel your fire insurance. But I've seen companies and individuals try to do this to fall flat on their face when we made them more money than what our fee was, which means we needed to raise our prices a little because we made them a lot more money than what our fee was. But people try to run off with your plan and strategy, not knowing that God gave you that plan and strategy to see all the way through. And if that person doesn't have the budget, they need to make you a partner. And if they don't want to make you a partner, they are not in a place where they could even be a good business person because you have to have alliances in this. You cannot be an island. You cannot be an island. Maybe you can be a peninsula in the words of Andre 3000 from Outcast, but you can't be an island and make it to greatness the way you, you think, the way you vision. But you got to know that you got to be beneficial to somebody else. So you, you got to be able to pivot in this game. My goodness, I remember when I was driving trucks and I knew that I wasn't going to be driving trucks forever, but I had to pivot because life made me pivot. Because people will try to tear you down, knock you down, especially in this type of hashtag world. They'll try to throw everything at you so you can't do what you can do at the time, no matter how good you are for a city, how good you are for a company. Nobody is above that. That's just the times we live in. Reason why I tell you also you got to be able to pivot to go to another country so you can do the same business you're doing there. Russell Simmons, boom, he pivoted. He said, I'll let the courts handle all that if you guys want to say this and that. He, I mean, think about it. You talking about the 70s, 80s, 90s, crazy young fun times for, for him at that time. And now people want to bring stuff back. Got to pivot. So many people should have pivoted with um, Hollywood stars. We tell them all day. Pivot, do this, do that. You ain't got to be here in America all day, but not everyone's going to listen. Some folks are going to wait to the last minute. Some folks are hard headed and say, you know what? That guy's just, he's, he, he's eccentric. He's crazy. He's, he, he thinks, you know, he can go on NASA if he wanted to. And I could, if I wanted to, and you could too, if you wanted to, but a lot of you don't put the confidence that you put in others in yourself. You don't think that you can just flip and switch. So you got to be able to pivot. 
I got to pivot. And in politics, you definitely have to pivot because they try to wash you. And I love being behind the scenes because I can be authentically me in politics and just tell somebody something and they can either do it or they not do it. And if it works, right, I um, we're like, OK, we know we got to we, we're going to keep going. We're rolling, you know, um, with the client. If it does not work and they try to, you know, d- remix it. OK. They can't throw us out there because we're behind the scenes. And I love the behind the scenes work for that freedom. I know that if I if I wanted to run for an office, not just past things, but even current things on the way that I talk. The way that I talk is so bold and blunt that I want to give you the keys so you can drive the car. You get the keys to the yard. But do you need a navigator? And that's what we like to do. That's the game. I don't have to be the boss. Let me be the underboss. Let me kick back and strategize this thing. That's what a real true consultant is. And you have to also know when you don't know enough to pivot to go grab a team member who knows more than you, especially in certain things. We don't know everything. We got to have partners and allegiances. And, and, and when you have those partnerships, let people know. And people know. You don't play. You don't play with our connections and you got to do what you say. And you have to understand if it doesn't go the right way, that you can't act like a baby victim and be like, oh, well, they're not doing this and that and, and blah, blah, blah. Man up, woman up. Put some bass in that voice and let's knock this thing out the park. Because when you spent that check that I sent you, you were all happy. And got, you know, and, and got the got the, the, the items, the cars, the what the whatever. You got it. So when we're in the mid section, oh, that's a whole nother video. We're in the mid. You guys don't even worry. I'm not gonna give you too much game. That's a whole nother video I got for you. Learn how to pivot. Remember, with unity we all win. Remember that you need a team to make this dream stream and go flow. Nice. I'm out. You guys be blessed.